Thank you, Kyle, for joining us today and sharing some of your story with our viewers. Uh, Kyle, you were referred to our clinic. You were 18 years old. 18. How old are you today? 37. When you first came to see us, you had been in a wheelchair for about 10 years or so. Yes. Yes. And you were not, um, you didn't require uh, any breathing apparatus at night to sleep. No, at the no, beginning. No, no. no, you were feeling comfortable. Your um, breathing capacity, do you remember how, uh, what were the numbers for as far as your force vital capacity? I think at that time it was around 50%. I think it wasn't until you were 23 that you required uh, ventilation at night. Yes. Um, do you remember some of the symptoms you felt um, that probably led you to require breathing uh, assistance at night? Maybe a bit of maybe lightheadedness. Mm -hmm. Feeling tired. Feeling tired during the day. I understand you were probably going to school during that time too, so you would feel being tired going to school all day if you didn't have a good night's sleep. Yeah, I was going It wasn't until you were 27 years old that you actually required daytime support, such as this mouthpiece ventilation. Yeah. yeah. Did it take you some time to adapt to the mouthpiece? It wasn't too bad at all. Like, nighttime was not more difficult. Adjusting to the the right mass and it worked best for me. I remember I was really worried about going to university because I didn't know what it was going to be like. I thought it was going to be like maybe too difficult for me. But I first of all, I got two degrees, one in film studies and one in psychology. Is there any time while you were going to university or college that people asked you why why you were breathing from this tube, or did they know what it was? Most people like, assumed it was how I dry. Did you feel that the ventilator um, um, while you were in a classroom was an issue? Well, you know, what it alarmed, but it was kind of funny to get people would freak out and I go to the lab so they knew there was nothing to worry about. You, you had to be the one calming them down. Yeah. Do you still perform glossopharyngeal breathing today? I can't do it on my own because I don't have enough strength, but... Okay. I use the bag to assist me with that. If you're having difficulty performing glossopharyngeal breathing today, are you still able to eat a full diet? Yeah, I do pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's some things I need that blended in the blender, but for the most part, I do pretty good. What type of activity do you do with your family or with uh, friends? Or we really enjoy going out to dinner, going out to movies. What I enjoy most is going out here. And who's your favorite? Which one is uh, your favorite team? Yeah, it was, uh, it was for sure. There's something else that I understand that you're working on that's very special. Yeah, I'm working on writing a book on my life with disability. I'm writing it too promote awareness and to inspire others to help one person I did my job. You are, even without the book, an inspiration. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much for joining us. You're welcome. Okay. Visit our website at www.canventottawa.ca for additional comprehensive information.